Okay guys, this is going to be a video on how to use uh, your PC once you get it. And I'm going to show you this is what your screen is going to look like once the box boots up. And you got your Wi-Fi, your Ethernet connection uh, successfully installed. Explain to you what you're going to. It's only one home page that you need to be concerned with. And uh, whether you're using your factory remote or your mouse. Your mouse, uh, again, from the first video, one of the training videos you saw. Uh, I got my own kind of handheld keyboard mouse so uh, but the functions everything is still going to work the same and we're going to get into explaining to you what you're looking at this right here is a clean app bar uh, you know periodically come over here and clean it when you see this blue bar this is your usage you want to come over and one tap on the little broom right here and then you'll see a little blue circle go around it and it will clean it normally halfway is what you're going to see uh, if you come down here on your motor city streams home page if you have a netflix account you can click that and open it up and um, put in your netflix username and password and you can continue to use your netflix account on the pc of course there is your login page for Netflix so we want to hit the return button we want to back up and go back to our home screen you got your Twitter if you got a Twitter account you want to get on Twitter you can do that if you have a Facebook account which most people do you can open up Facebook and uh, get online and do social media of course you can put your you put your username password in there log in Facebook uh, also uh, this is your settings for inbox so if for, if for whatever reason you lose your Wi-Fi connection, just simply come back in here and reconnect your Wi-Fi. Check that box and what's going to happen is going to give you this box is going to read a lot of IP, IP addresses. So you have to find your IP address, select it, and then you'll have a password section over here. And then you can use your wireless mouse to get your on-screen keyboard to pop up and type in your password. If you're using Ethernet like I am, obviously you don't need password for Ethernet. Okay. And then it'll say connecting. And then it's connected. Let's go back home now. Uh, of course, you got your Google Play store here. And if you go down next to that, you have your YouTube. You got Google Chrome. You can surf the Internet. Uh, there is my Cody Motor City Streams build in there. You do have Skype. So if you have a USB camera plugs into one of the USB ports on the box you can Skype right there on the box and uh, like me I have everything hooked up to my surround so I can Skype my brother family members whoever it's going to pop up on the screen I just mount my camera wherever I want to mount it at so they can see me and I can see them and we can hear each other and we can talk so this is a PC it's not just a we're not just talking about Android television and all that this is a computer and you're just using your TV as a monitor, same way you would a laptop or a desktop. Now your live TV apps are going to be Mobdro right here, that little three-colored house, and then you have Swift Streams, which is one of the, uh, was is a nice app that I just recently found, and all boxes going out from this point on will have my uh, Swift Streams on there, and then you have Movies HD, and let's get into Movies HD real quick, and let's open this up and let me show you how it works. And this is a very fast working app. I'm really pleased with it. And here you have all your movies. Uh, and this is the reason why I haven't paid a cable bill in about three years. Uh, all your latest movies are going to be here. And this is a, I don't have any control over this app, but it is self updating. Uh, you just go through here when you see the messages. But everything that you guys got on here, I already updated it for you. So you can just simply come in here and click on a movie. So just to be quick about it we're going to click on independence day and what you're going to see here is a play button so you're going to come up here and click on the word or the title of the movie and it's going to give you different versions that you can look at i've always found that google video 1080p v2 works great and then you want to come down here and click on play and these do have ads that pop up you just x out of them if they do pop up uh, you do have an ad that's constantly going to be on the screen, but when you go to play and the movie starts, it will disappear. Okay, so you can also fast forward the movie if you bring your mouse up on the screen and click 
and click on OK or if you tap uh, left click on your mouse you can then fast forward the movie okay and then that little ad will, will drop off you see it drop off and it'll be in full screen mode okay I'm gonna hit the back button or right click on my mouse to back out of that and then I want to go choose another movie okay choose on Suicide Squad and then let's click on that always remember V2 it works best and you see how fast the movie opens up remember you're gonna have these little uh, commercials that pop up just come down here to the bottom of the screen and click on no thanks okay and then that'll get rid of that and there you have the movie plan so I'm gonna back out of that one time back out again and then back out again it's gonna take me back to the home page of movies HD you come over here up into the upper see where my mouse is circling around and then click on that little three those little three bars there that's the menu button and you can also come down here and find TV shows as well uh, popular new and all that so it's gonna give you movies and TV shows okay this is where the wireless mouse is gonna come in handy at because it'll be more easier for you to move around on the screen which I'm using it other than the mouse that uh, is on the Android TV box okay so um, and then that little uh, wheel on the uh, wireless mouse is going to allow you to go up and down up and down right click backs out that screen right click again do you want to exit yes okay so let's go over to Swift click on Swift and this is going to be a live TV app those of you that just got to have live TV and what you want to do as you can see you got countries on here you got Pakistan India Bangladesh Afghanistan Arabic Punjabi South American I mean a South Indian Punjabi movies but the one that you want to click on to watch uh, well if you're here in the States anyway click on UK forward slash US and these are all your channels okay and every one I've clicked on so far they all work great and this is the selection that you have okay uh, so we'll just click on AMC if you're a Walking Dead fan you can come into this app see how fast it opens up and back out of that if you're using your wireless mouse just right click uh, click on CNN standard definition it looks looks good enough it's free so it's nothing to complain about there uh, and only thing you're doing is just paying your uh, internet bill but uh, these are the channels that you get with Swift back out and don't be fooled by these uh, UK channels they do show a lot of American programming so you got ITV3, ITV2, 4 uh, there's a lot of good shows on there they do show again a lot of American programming it's just a lot of UK commercials okay uh, back out of that and uh, you know you got to plethora of content in here guys this is the reason why we don't pay cable bill this is IPTV okay so come over here to Fox click on Fox subtitles you know I don't really worry about the subtitles uh, something that we can't fix but it is everything is in English and the streams look real good so uh, these are all your uh, stations or so much channels that you can look at. Uh, National Geographic, Sky Movies, they got a lot of good movies here in Sky. Uh, again, just because they look UK, don't let that fool you. They got a lot of good stuff in there. Okay, back out. Fox Movie Channel. This is real time, so you can see how fast these movies open up. You may find some that has a little hesitation to them in the beginning. And they do clear up on that hesitation and start playing. But if you do find that that happens, again, back out and then go back into it. See if that'll fix it. What you did. So, if you ever play on a channel and it has some hesitation or it stutters, just back out of it and open it back up. So, that's... Uh, this is Swift. Now you want to get into sports, just click, simply click on sports. And then you have ESPN, 
BT Sports, that's where you're going to find a lot of UFC pay-per-view. Uh, you do have WWE. If you're like me and my wife, we're big wrestling fans. Uh, you can click on the WWE Network and watch a lot of their pay-per-views in here as well. Okay, so back out of that. Uh, Sky Sports. If you're uh, in a Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, you want to click on Sky Sports 5. Uh, they show Monday Night Raw and Friday Night, I mean, and Tuesday Night SmackDown. So, and it's streaming in pretty good uh, content. They do show a lot of replays from Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night SmackDown. And we haven't even gotten into my Cody Media Stream Media uh, player yet, as far as Motor City Streams, but. TSN, that is a Canadian version of ESPN. They do show a lot of uh, a lot of American sports, college football, baseball. Uh, you do have Fox Sports 1 on here. Okay. And again, you have a little stutter or hesitation to it. Sometime it'll clear up. Or if it's playing real fast, it's catching up to the server. So back out of it and then open it back up again. And a lot of times, depending on your internet connection, your speed, and then server, okay? You don't have any control over that depending on what kind of server that's coming off of. Okay, so those are some of the things that by you using an open source platform like this, you're subject to server speed. Okay, nothing that we can do about that. So, some play good, some play have a little hesitation. You may have to back out and go back into it a couple times. Okay, so that's the sports section. And again, you do have other countries here uh, that you can get into and watch different uh, content from different countries. So, let's back out of that and let's go into MobDro. Click on MobDro. And this is how the MobDro app is set up. You can come over and click on channels. These are network channels. You do have a lot of ads and banners here. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, you just scroll through them, okay? Uh, if you're using your Android TV box remote, just hit the down button. Or if you're using the mouse, just roll down. Uh, these have a lot of uh, network broadcast channels on them, as you can see. And just click on one of them. MobDraw is a pretty good app. Standard definition. Okay. But again, remember, it's all free. Okay. Then you go through and then check out some more. Uh, if you ever click on one of these uh, channels, and again, it, if the words are not matching up to the sound or if, it, or if it quits while you're streaming it, just back out of it and then go back into it and open it up. Okay. Uh, this will give you some updates. Okay, it will pop up if you want. If it's asking you to do a different updated version of Modro, just simply install it uh, and then open it back up. Uh, they do do frequent updates on this app. Click on the USA Network. So this is what you get when you get, when you buy a unit from me. Um, you're getting, you know, just everything you need to watch TV live with Swift or MobDro, or if you want to get into unlimited movies and TV shows, okay, let's come into the white and blue K, this is Cody, which is also has my Motor City streams built on it, which I do keep updated through a server, and the first page that pops up is the most important. Uh, you need to clean this software every day throughout the day that you're watching it, okay, you want to come over here and click on delete cache two files found whether you found one two three fifty twenty thirty clean them okay very important and so delete packs if nothing pops up and you've been cleaning it then there's nothing to clean the the second most important one is clean videos because what happens is if you're watching a lot of movies TV shows that adds up that builds up on the memory of the complete box and then uh, the more stuff you watch without cleaning it, it takes longer for the platform to open and then, and it perf doesn't perform as great. So clean this software every day, multiple times throughout the day. When I finish watching something, I'll come back in here and clean it.
before you cut it off, clean it. When you cut it on, clean it. Okay? Uh, that's one of the main things in the past before I, you know, created this. I was having problems with a lot of folks because they were watching a lot of things. And then to get into the clean features was too many steps. So I put it on the front page when you open up Cody inside my bill is to clean it. Cleaning up the videos may take a little longer because of this file size of some of the videos or the TV shows that you may have been watching. And so once it gets to 100 percent, it'll drop off the screen. OK, which is at 97. It's done. OK, now. If you're using the mouse, which I am now, okay, you use the roll bar and that'll move the menu screen. Of course, you got a sports section in here, BT Sports. Remember, if you don't, if you don't watch your UFC pay-per-views through here, and they also show uh, a lot of college football games too. Uh, Pro Sports, this is an update. You can come in here and watch a lot of NFL games, uh, MLB, hockey. Uh, this will open up. And uh, the, one of the bigger things is just being patient. you got to be patient with this. Uh, this is not like cable or satellite. So if there's any NBA games on or NFL games coming on, MLB games, uh, what you need to do is click on MLB. If you're using the mouse, you want to double click. Okay. Uh, left double click. And then it'll tell you not started yet. That's the game. But when, when you click on it, it's going to give you... Uh, some selections of different sources that you can stream from but right now it's not ready okay games not on until the 20 but it'll tell you what time the game is coming on NHL NFL okay and always remember again when you click on the, the title NBA games um, you know it'll tell you the game hasn't started yet but when you click on one of these it's going to open up with multiple sources not all of them will work so you have to find one that does so let's back out of that okay uh, let's get over here to to movies okay one two three space mob see movies specto okay uh, once you click on uh, movies if you're using the Android remote this is where I say use the Android remote okay because it's a lot easier to navigate uh, with your Android remote but you want to go down to and as long as that's highlighted like that, then you can actually go into Specto. And if you get that to pop up, just hit right click. Or if you're using the remote, use the back out button. Okay, back out once. Okay, so uh, you got search. Let's see. Now, I'm using the mouse. You also have an infinity scroll bar underneath here that you can use to choose whatever you want to get into. Uh, one of my favorites is Space Mob uh, because it'll give you a movie and then you can click right on that movie and it'll open up. Specto and, um, and Exodus, it gives you sources once you click on the movie. So let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So if you click on Specto and then click on Movies, okay, let's click on Year, click on 2016. And let that work and then let this open up. I'm going to show you the difference between some of the apps. So, actually, let's click on this movie here. And then once the movie, once it pops up, it's going to give you different sources. Now, the difference, now what it's doing is finding the sources. That's what you're looking at. It's 82%. And once that finishes... It's going to give you multiple different sources that you can click from. Other apps on here that, I, that I'm showing you, I'm getting ready to show you, the movie just opens right up and plays. Okay, so this is the part where you have to be patient. It's going to go through loading the sources now. Okay, so what you're looking at are the different sources, 1080p, HD, HD, HD. Okay, and you can just click on one. So if we click on... Uh, movies HD is going to then open up that screen is going to drop down another one's going to pop up says working okay and the movie is playing now when the movie is playing okay you got your little eyeball up here right you can actually change the view mode and I always watch movies in 16 by 9 
okay now you can also turn you can amplify the volume click on the speaker and then come down here to speak to volume amplification and you can turn that up you just heard it got louder turned it down so if you got your regular volume up your TV volume at a certain level you can always amplify it but I got surround sound so mine sounds wonderful so I'm gonna back out of that come over here and click stop so when you inspect though or exodus that's how they work okay but if you go to space mov let me go back go back go back come over here to space mov click on that and then click on uh, let's click on movie years and then we're gonna come down and click on 2016 it's working let's open it up and we're gonna click on that same flick and it's gonna tell you to choose a server always choose you loud uh, you laughing out loud that's how I just say it. you lol uh, that always works the video mega has issues uh, but let's click on the you laughing out loud and some work faster than others so we're gonna let this work See, there you go. This one doesn't give you a bunch of different sources to choose from. It just takes you right to the best movie uh, source automatically. So let's click stop. Let's stop this movie. Okay. Then back out. Back out. And let's go to one, two, three movies. Okay. And one two three movies works the same way I really like one two it's probably about my my favorite one okay and then let's go to year go to 2016 and then uh, I think they have a deeper library than all the rest of them okay and so there you have all your different movies let's click on uh, this one here see how fast that one works okay then give me a bunch of sources to choose from then I can fast forward it there you go and we'll stop that string and then back out again back out again back out again as far as your uh, news I do have a news section under here Africa news And this one is in high def. Uh, it's, it's Stop that one. You got CBS News. Michael Trout. You have to go to Michael. Let me switch my remotes. It's kind of hard doing this. There we go. And click on CBS News. And stop. Uh, InfoWars. Okay. And if you go back down underneath the uh, subs, here's your subs, MSNBC, RT News, which is really good, C-SPAN 1, 2, and 3, UK News. Okay. Come over to TV shows. This is the section that people are going to be in the most. Um... Come over here to Networks if you want to find a show. It's not about getting that sequel. Can I get this network? Can I get that network? This is the video on demand portion, which I stay in a lot. Okay. Uh, any show that you're pretty much looking for, you want to come over into Networks and come down here and find, see if the network is available. And you can click on, let's go up. Matter of fact, uh, VH1. And then VH1 is going to show you all of this to shows that they have available for you. Okay. 
And some of these reality TV shows people love. Some of these, I uh, see the earlier seasons may or may not play, but the newer seasons will play. And then you have all these different episodes. Click on. So the box works like a DVR system. It's one box per TV. And so you have to have another box if you want to watch it on. You got more than, you know, some people like to watch their own program. So you're going to need to get at least two. Because this is one per. But it works like a DVR. Uh, any show that comes out, if you can't, you know, we're not talking about the live TV channel. Don't worry about not being able to watch it live. Because you can come back on the box and watch it again later that day or the next day. And watch it commercial free, uninterrupted. Then again, you come down and, and pick your source. Watch series is pretty good. If you can find Prime Wire, Prime Wire uh, is one of the better ones. Okay. If it doesn't work, go to another link. Now, some of these links, when you click them and open them up, if you get this, then just hit the back out button once and then let it load up. That's going to disappear and then that screen is going to open up. Now, if it didn't open, find another stream. And then it's going to work. <clears throat> so, there you go. Again, remember these links right here. These are all different sources coming from different servers. So... That's why there's so many to choose from, because not all of them are going to work. Some of them you can click on, and they may buffer a lot. Then you just need to back out and find a different stream and click on. That, that is the purpose of all these different sources here, because not all of them play with the same clarity or the same strength. Okay, So that's how this works. So you come in here and look for your show, click on it, and then choose from a different source. Okay, we're in the networks tab right now. Okay, uh, so if you like NBC shows, you can click on that. If you're CBS, Young and the Restless, like me and my wife, you click on CBS, and uh, that's going to open up. And I always go up to the top, and it'll drop me right back down to the bottom, so I don't have to go through the entire list. I'm gonna click on Young and the Restless, and then I'm gonna click on. Uh, now this show comes on 12:30 Eastern time. But they always put that show that day up after 5 p.m. So you can come in and watch it later. You can watch the whole week. Okay. So there's no more stressing about trying to record it if you missed it because you can always come back on the box and watch it again. Okay. And always with this app, CBS app, uh, this Young and the Restless shows in great quality. See how fast it is. Now, it's not going to be the case for every app that you get. Some take a little bit longer to open up. That's why this, there's a learning curve, okay? Uh, you just have to understand, just be patient with some of these when they open up because some of them do take a little longer. Click on search. And let's see. I discontinued pub films. So what you can do is go into video add-ons. And you can come and click on Specto. It's going to give you a TV show. These are, this is like your phone. You've got your main app page, okay? And Specto and uh, let's see, and Exodus are the main ones you want to watch your TV shows in. Okay, so if you come over here and click on Specto, and you come over and click on TV shows, you can also find networks in here. Okay, and then you can go down. Also, let me show you too. UK Turks, uh, they have TV shows in here as well. Now come down and click on TV shows. And then you can check out what's available. A lot of TV shows in here as well. Okay. So back out of that. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is one of the most diverse apps on here. Uh, I'm going to show you something real quick. 
you do have Divas Den. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, female artists in here as far as actresses go. A lot of leading ladies. Okay. Come in here and find a lot of stuff in here. Uh, if you also come down and click on 124, 24, 15. If you are into old school, um, especially those that like black entertainment, you can actually come down here to, and you'll keep going. There's a lot of stuff in Phoenix. I mean, some people get lost in here and just, this is, I get a lot of people to tell me this is the only app that they use. Okay. And keep going. There's a huge list in here. As you can see. But so as you can see, there's plenty of stuff that you can find to watch. Uh, and it's cheaper than cable. <laughs> so Black Urban TV, that's one of the ones that my mom likes a lot. Uh, you can get a lot of black old movies in there. And let's see. You got Marvel comic movies, Disney Connect collection. You got a lot of Bible movies in here. If you're into fitness, you can go into uh, Phoenix and find a lot of fitness shows. Of course, there's just a ton of ton of stuff inside of Phoenix. Okay. We'll be here all day going through Phoenix, but a lot of this stuff works great. More black entertainment for those that want to know. It's a lot of a lot of movies in here. Black exploitation. Okay. Covering this stuff. I'm just trying to figure out. You know, these are the questions that I get a lot. So check out Phoenix. And then once you get in Phoenix, go through the list. And that is 124, 24, 15. Want to check that out. Okay. Crusader 88. If you're into international stuff, you got a lot of international channels in here. Different countries, Albania, Bahamas, Brazil, so on and so forth. Canada. Okay. Back out of that. And again, that is the Pro Sports app for football, baseball, basketball, hockey. It wasn't working for, for a while, and they updated it. Uh, sports Devil, still the king as far as watching all kind of sports. You want to go to live sports. And uh, when you open up live sports, these are all different channels, so to speak. Click on Dim Sports. Go watch a lot of, lot of pay-per-view in here. This is more the free aspect of it. Uh, but if you click on boxing forward slash WWE UFC, open that up and uh, SmackDown, of course, that was uh, on Tuesday. But you can watch a lot of football, basketball in here. You click on football, uh, especially for college football. This is the fall winter season. And then you can come down here. This is all type of world sports in here as well. Some of these are in standard definition. Some look pretty good, some don't. You just have to pick and choose which link you're gonna click on. Okay, so we're gonna back out of that. So first row, give you quite a bit of sources. Roger, direct us pretty good. Um, first row is pretty good, Dim Sports. You may find some stuff on, on uh, Bundas right here. Uh, at net used to work pretty good but it's not working it's great but dim sports is still one of the best ways to look at vivo that is your music video app you can watch music videos all day long uh, suicide TV is an IPTV live uh, channel list that you can watch and also you have uh, exabyte TV Let's get into that, which is under the subtitles as well, under favorites. And you want to come down and click on Dish USA. Sometimes this app right here, you have to uh, clear your cache because it'll work. And then you go back into it and then it'll, it'll tell you that the channel is not available when you just watched it five minutes ago. Uh, I don't promote these live TV channel apps because they're... You know, they're developed by third party people. So, you know, for whatever reason, their server may be heavy and you may lose, you know, the app will still be there. You may click on some of these channels, but if they got a lot of server traffic, the channels won't work. Um, you know, so the majority of the time you click on them, they're going to open up. 
but then it may be a time where you may have high traffic on it and you got a lot of server people on the servers then sometimes they, they won't uh, so what you have to do is just close the app down and then go back to your toolbar and uh, click on clear cache and see if that'll help and fix it where you find these at is here you got Izzy TV which is a live TV <coughs> app IPTV C Cloud TV and Exa these are some more channels here that I added um, that do show live TV programming again I'm not guaranteeing all of these that work every time you click on them but they are here for your uh, viewing pleasure so to speak you can you know try and click on some of them and at the time that I put them on my build they do work some of them are fast okay so basically this is how you're going to use it you got your live uh, weather app on here of course when you send me your zip code to order and I mail it I'm gonna put your zip code in there so it gives you your forecast for the week you come down and click on live and it's going to open up to the weather network which is like the weather channel which is a live streaming app these are not channels ladies and gentlemen these are apps okay this is much different from cable or satellite TV of course you got your music section here then you got your sports once again you click on ESPN 3 as far as college football baseball uh, mostly college football anything on the ESPN network you can come in here and watch that game they show a lot of Big Ten, ACC, SEC. Well, SEC is more or less on CBS. Uh, but once you click on the ESPN3 app, it's going to open up. And if there's any games on, you can actually come in here and click on them. And, I mean, I can watch a ton of college football on ESPN3. Okay. Um, matter of fact, let's go back into that. Because ESPN3, when you open it up, the games are going to be here. You don't need to click on Android TV, Apple, Legacy, none of that. Okay, those are just uh, how to's but your games are going to be here with the icons to the left okay and that's basically how you're going to use this TV shows systems you don't really need to be in there um, that's pretty much for me to program <laughs> so power very quickly when you're through using Cody come down here and click on quit it's highlighted it takes about 54 maybe 40 to 50 seconds for it to shut down and cut off very important that you shut it down correctly because uh, if not you could cause complications with it remember this is software just like any computer or a tablet you don't you have to shut it down correctly again you got everything that you need right here uh, sportsnet 360 bt wwe uh, mama hd uh, those are going to be your uk sports channels Dim Sports, Live Sports, Pac-12, NFL, uh, Network, HBO Sports, NBA TV, and then you got your golf. Okay, but remember, whenever you cut this on, my Motor City Streams Cody builds, the first page is going to boot up to clean everything on a daily basis. Okay, and throughout the day, when you finish watching something, come over here, click on Clean Cache just that quick we we got 34 files okay once that's done click OK come on come over to delete packs if nothing pops up then there's nothing to clean yeah, delete the logs and then click the and delete that yes okay and then clean your videos okay just like an eraser you're erasing everything off the paper that you written down so you start with a clean sheet okay every time out so that's the build ladies and gentlemen uh, this is the unit that you got from me and this is what the home screen looks like again and uh, this is going to this it be on the uh, tech support link which is going to be on top of the box on the sticker I always go back to it if you have forgotten anything how to use something and this is your video training on how to use your PC how to stream how to do social media